I'm Mark. I'm Morgan. This, this is Willow. Willow. And, and we, we are Grove, Grove Electric. So we are going on a super spontaneous road trip to Lancaster, Pennsylvania to watch a friend's volleyball game as well as visit some family. So we are not really super prepared. We kind of no. just threw stuff together and in hopped in bag. the car. <laughs> yeah. And a bag for Willow. So two <laughs> bags, not, this is going to be a low key weekend type thing. Yeah. And uh, we're going at 71%. GPS says we'll be there at 45%. So we shouldn't need to charge luckily on our way out there. But it is 32 degrees, so it's pretty chilly. So we'll see what happens. But uh, yeah, we're ready to just uh, kind of do this Wing thing. It. Yeah. <laughs> Well, as we're heading out to Lancaster, um, I, of course, did not pay $8 to drive on a road down in Hilton Head, so you can bet your butt that I am not paying the Pennsylvania Turnpike fees, and um, that's also because we um, found a study that did a search of the roads all over the world, and the Pennsylvania Turnpike is, to, like, per mileage, the most expensive in the world. So, okay, maybe second most expensive, but still in the whole world. These roads are epic and that is another thing that I love about not taking toll roads because one they're overly trafficked and heavily traveled by everyone and tractor and trailers which I'm kind of deathly afraid of after almost being in an accident with one I didn't even think about that yes. nice good, yeah <laughs> so we're back road junkies and these back roads have been amazing and for someone who loves driving like I do it has been so much fun to travel uh, the non toll road just like these back roads are amazing. I just, I'm in, I'm in the world. Right? I, I want to do this trip every day at this point. <laughs> Guess what, little girl? We are on a road. And guess the name of the road? The name of the road is <gasps> Willow Road. Isn't that just so exciting? So exciting, little girl. So good. So we have arrived at our location for the evening and uh, we are at 41%. It is 29 degrees outside, so slightly lower than the original estimation, but still I am amazed at how efficient this car is. It is just, it's awesome. I absolutely love it. I think Will's gotta go to the bathroom now. Yeah. Right, Will, what do you think of the drive? What? She's so excited to be here. <laughs> All right, so we just got done watching the volleyball game. They did win. Woo! Yeah, it was awesome. So it was at this place called Spooky Nook in Manaheim Township in Lancaster County. And this place is epic. Rockin'. It's like, amazing. A million square feet or some insanity of square footage. It had 38 indoor volleyball games going on at, at the, the same, same time. time. <laughs> like, People from all over the country, it seemed like, as well. And it was just nuts. Balls flying, whistles going. <laughs> it was just crazy. And then on top of all of that, they even had like a hotel and restaurants and food out the wazoo. It's just... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's now dark. It is crazy. No, and it is dark. But, so cool. Oh my gosh, it was incredible. It was so cool to come see. And so now we're going to uh, sit in the parking line. We're at 37% battery, 29 degrees Fahrenheit. And we have still have yet to charge, but luckily we're able to charge overnight at our humble abode for the evening. So I'm so excited to try that out and see what type of charge we get by the morning. Woohoo! All right, so we arrived at our humble abode for the evening, are allowing us to use our mobile connector, which I said, never leave the house without your mobile connector. It's so important that you always have the ability to charge. So we have our mobile connector, we're plugged in with the NEMA 515, and we're gonna go ahead and get some fresh electrons in the battery pack overnight, especially since it's 29 degrees outside, it's freezing. So leaving that at that battery level outside all night, not the best idea. Best thing about Tesla, click the button, opens up the charge port door, Flashy flash. And we're charging. Good morning. It is a beautiful day out. It is 33 degrees, so it's still a bit chilly. But we were able to put uh, up to 52% in our battery pack last night. So we're leaving this house in Lancaster at 52%. Thankful that we were able to charge. Willow got to spend some time with her cousin. 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 And they had a blast, they had a lot of fun together. 
So hopefully, I think that we will be able to make it home uh, with 51% now because <laughs> it's so cold. so cold. But yeah, it was it was a great time. So glad we did make this spontaneous road trip. Well, did you have fun? Did you have fun, little girl? Yeah, she had so much fun playing, romping around, and now she's going to take a nice long rest. <clears throat> so I started my day with some coffee, which was very nice because it was really cute. You want to show them what um, oh, yeah. little extra? So there was extra in the blender, and she just gave me a little extra cup. It was so nice of her. People out here in the, I don't know, Midwest of PA. Well, we're think. in Lancaster, like, so it's, it's whatever. It's central, central PA. They're just yeah. so nice. So thoughtful. So it was really nice and cute. But now my straw, it's not big enough. It's in the little straw jail. So cute. <laughs> but it. it's good. It's a great way to start the day. So what are we at? Uh, we are at so 50. we're at 50% state of charge. Already. It says we're going to get home at 25% state of charge. We will uh, We will see. I, I think that is going to be accurate. It was accurate yesterday. So yeah, we should have no issues getting home and no supercharging stops, which is been the first time I think ever we've gone on a mm -hmm. road trip. Spontaneous yeah. road trip at that. And, so uh, totally not prepared, but it was good. We're good. prepared because we always keep that mobile adapter in the car. And now Morgan's going to watch a little Netflix. Oh yes, got to watch that Netflix. We have arrived home at 21% state of charge. So not the 25% estimated, mm -hmm. but still not bad. So uh, very efficient and we're very happy. Overall, we had a blast. It was such a fun, less than 24 hours, a uh, little extravaganza <laughs> yeah. that we were able to go on. Willow's very happy. She cannot wait to go into her bed and rest up and become that little crazy pup we know and love so much. We're gonna plug in to our home charger now, which is level two, and we will see significantly faster charge speeds. So that's why I'm not concerned whatsoever that we're at 21%. And so see, it worked out that uh, we did not have to use any superchargers, which was awesome. And it was actually really good because there was only one along the entire route that we took so having that mobile connector really saved us from having to use a supercharger or really go out of our way like we had to when we were in mm -hmm. uh juniata where there was no supercharging and we had to travel to harrisburg so yeah always have your mobile connector and then always have a level two charger at your house be sure to like and subscribe